Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. And in today's one, I'd like to share some of the best applications that I frequently use on my iPhone and that I'd like to share with all of you who are watching this video. So I've collected all of these apps, not only for a specific gender or even the age or lifestyle. I really hope that these apps are universal and would fit every single one of you guys who is watching this video. So let's not waste any more time and let's begin with the number one app on the list. And and the first application is called get contact so this one allows me to actually check every single number from any country in the world and see who was that uh, person or organization that was calling me just a few moments ago so I can just quickly tap on that search field select the country type in the number and see who that was so this of course prevents you from this spammy calls and you can see who exactly that was calling you just a few moments ago so I really can recommend this app to anyone who is watching this video and the next app is called snapseed so guys if you take a lot of pictures or you just take pictures in general regularly and sometimes you have some let's say facial problems like acne uh, as I do I actually use this app for removing any facial defects so for example I've just um, you know downloaded this photograph and let me just show you how quickly you can remove some facial defects or just defects from the actual photograph using one of these uh, tools so if you you zoom in as you can see you can do like this and they're gone so it's super easy and super simple and there are of course more options inside of this app more tools that you can guys use but I'm just getting started so I don't use all of them but just just a few of them from this list and at the number three we've got the game called brain out and at the first glance you may say like oh this is the game for children but it's actually not because some of these levels are super complicated even for adults but it's super interesting to play it you can play it with your friends alone uh, but only thing that you guys will need is internet connection because sometimes when you cannot solve some of these levels you will need to purchase a new hint by let's say watching a quick video inside of this application and it will take you just uh, maybe hours to solve all of these problems inside of this app in one of the greatest Apple music replacements is called Melodista so this is a free app that basically kind of looks like Apple music but has a lot of features and it's completely free so it cannot only look like the actual Apple music but as you can see yeah that's an Apple music kind of look uh, but it's not only limited to this because it has more features like lyrics you can edit cover art uh, titles and stuff like this you can share it with your friends you can control playback speed shuffle sleep timer that we don't really have in the Apple music and there are a lot of settings to configure you can configure dark mode cool animation uh, on the background so you can yeah you can play any track and of course you can import uh, your music with a lot of sources so you can use anything from the files app dropbox a google drive camera roll wi-fi transfer itunes transfer so there are a lot of sources to so take advantage of the best music importing technologies uh, from any sources you guys want so yeah this is a melodista and the next one is vase this is a, an alternative to the google maps but these are for the people who drive so if you have a car i suggest you to just to try vase because it not only shows you the traffic conditions but also the people who get stuck in the traffic jams they also share their messages uh they also show where the police is staying in some places so it's a super handy app for all of these who are driving and the next one is sub count so this is a bonus app for today's video so it's a very nice widget for all of your uh, smartphones the iPhones and you can actually place your sub counts inside of this panel and see how many subscribers you have on your channel so that's a bonus app for today and our next app is called elevate so this is an app let's say for the brain training it allows you to train your brain in uh, four different fields these include uh, the writing and reading and basically you can practice your English language even uh, uh, this includes a free trial so you can of course try it without paying this is what i'm doing right now if mental exercises are for you just go ahead and try it and the last one on the list is called medium so it is an app for reading and i'm personally interested in uh, ios development and just developing ios applications so i frequently actually use medium not only this application but also their website which is very similar to this one and the best part about it is that the quality 
of these articles are on point. They're 10 out of 10 and they're very interesting. So here is the quick case, how I use it. So uh, when I uh, need to learn how to implement certain things, uh, this uh, application actually integrates GitHub so I can just copy that uh, code that I need and actually paste it inside of my Mac. And then I can, of course, edit it and do anything I want with it, but it's super easy and simple. Uh, there are a lot of these articles which are super handy for me, so I definitely recommend this one to you. And that should be pretty much it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the applications which I've shown you in this video. And please let me know in the comments below which applications you can recommend to me uh, to just try out and use. So maybe I can enjoy them and just become a better iPhone user. So everyone can see these applications in the comments section. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel and also and also support this video with the thumbs up. And I really want to see you in the next video. So have a great, great day and peace.